بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الذي أنزل على عبده الكتاب ولم يجعل له عوجا ثم الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه وسلم تسليما كثيرا أما بعد I give thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for making it possible for us to produce our today's video on the Ghosh al-Lughat al-Arabiya لغاية الناطقين بها and today by the grace of Allah we'll be looking at the lesson 5 at Dags al-Khamis, lesson 5, and it says, it's a dialogue between Sa'id and Yasir, and it goes thus. Sa'id says, Akitabu Muhammadin hadha ya Yasir. All these words are known to us. You all know a, ah, which means is. So, Akitabu Muhammad, literally, it means, is Muhammad, is this Muhammad's book, hadha, this. Kitab, book, Muhammad, Muhammad. So in arranging it orderly, according to the English uh, vocabularies and how it is being spoken, it will be, is this Muhammad's book, Ya Yasir or Yasir? And Yasir replied, La, no. Hada kitabu Hamidin. This is Hamid's book. Inshallah, we'll explain why, why is it written like this. Inshallah, we'll explain it. Sa'id says, Aina kitabu Muhammad? Where is Muhammad's book? Yasir replied, Huwa ala al maktabi hunak. It is on the desk. Hunak means there, over there. As you can see in the new words, hunak. Hmm? Hunak, there, over there. So it is on the desk, over there. Sa'id continues, said, Aina dafta wa ammar? Where is ammar's exercise book? Yasir replied, it is on the teacher's desk. Said says, "Qalamu man hada ya Ali." It means, "Whose pen is this, O oh Ali?" Whose pen is this, O oh Ali? You are no man to means who. So you are attributing uh, the column uh, to the owner. So you are asking, "Whose pen is this, O oh Ali?" Ali replied, "Hada qalamu al This is the teacher's pen." Said continues, "Aina haqibatu al where is the teacher's bag? And Ali replied, Here, تحت المكتب. It is under the desk. Hmm? It is under the desk. So, تحت means under, as you can see here. تحت, under. So, it is under the desk. And before we proceed with the Tamarin, there's something that our love us to explain uh, on this exercise, on this lesson. Though these are the new words, some new words come uh, in line with what is under the exercises. But before we move to the exercises, there's something we need to explain, which is very vital, and it is mubaf or mubaf really, that is the possessed and the possessor. They are what we call mubaf or mubaf really in Arabic. If I should say mubaf, mubaf means possessed. Why the mubaf really means possessor? In English uh, construction, one may say the teacher's pen the teacher's pen so the pen is the one being possessed by the teacher so the teacher is the possessor that is the owner of the pen so the teacher here is mobile freely is the possessor why if i should say that the column there in that sentence is the possess what is owned so the column that is the pen is the possess it is the mobile also the student's book the student is the possessor, that is the mobile relay, Why the book itself is the possessed, that is the mobile. So how are we to construct and form mobile from mobile relay? And there are laws governing mobile from mobile relay. I say here, yeah, the laws governing mobile, one is that it always comes before the mobile relay. We have two construction, one is mobile and the other is mobile relay. Just know that the mobile comes before the mobile relay. A good example, let's take one as a case study. This first sentence here, Kitabu Muhammad, Muhammad's book. You all know Muhammad to be the possessor, that is the mobile. And Kitab, the book, the one that is possessed, it is the, uh, the mobile. Mm. So now this Kitabu Muhammad is mobile for mobile feeling. So how are we to form it? One is that the mobile comes before the mobile feeling always. So we all know Kitab to be the Mubaf. In this sentence, Kitab comes before the Mubaf relay, right? Two is that it neither takes definite nor indefinite article. What it means is that 
the mudaf in this sentence, that is the kitab, which is the mudaf, the possessed, it will never take definite. You all know definite. You all know the sign of definite article, that is the alif and lam. It will not take the alif and lam d. And likewise, uh, it will also not take the indefinite article, that is the tenwin. Neither the fathatan, nor the kasratan, nor the dummatan. So that is the sign of the mudaf. It will neither take the definite article, that is the alif and lam, and neither will it take the indefinite article, that is the fathatan, or the kasratan, or the dummatan. So it will only be with dumma or fatha or kasra. But in this case, let's say it is with bumma, as you can see it here. So the mubaf is with bumma. Three is that it is always in the nominative case. That is, it is always in the maufur case. It will be with bumma always, mm? uh, as we can see in this sentence here. Yeah. So the mubaf will always be with bumma in the nominative case, except when preceded by a letter of preposition. So if something should come before the mobile, like say, are the letters that we've discussed earlier, letter of preposition, like the fee. You all know fee to give the noun after his case or. So if fee is to come, if fee is to come before this sentence here, so it will be fee kitabi. This kitab will definitely have case or. Why? Because of the fee. The fee has impacted it into this guitar but without any letter of preposition the mobile will always be with bumma as we can see here so these three are the signs of mobile as for the mobile relay also there are laws governing it one is that it comes after the mobile muhammad in this case in this example is the mobile relay and it comes after the mobile two it is in the genitive case that is the mobile relay will always be with kesra and this genitive case can have tenwin or al. That is, the mobile relay can have tenwin, as you can see here, or it can have alif and lam, in which other examples are to come. So these laws, once we have these laws, we'll be able to form udaw from mobile relay. It is different totally from the first one we discussed earlier, the mubtada and khabar, subject and predicate. Don't mistake mubtada and khabar for mobile from mobile relay. They are two different things. So more example of mudaf and mudaf relay is Daftaru Ammar, Ammar's exercise book. Mm? Ammar's exercise book. As we can see here, Daftar is with Dhamma in the nominative case. Nominative case. Ammar is with Kesra or Kesra in the genitive case because it is mudaf relay. Here is Maktabul Modelis, the teacher's desk. But we notice that this maktab did not have dumma. Why? Because Allah is a letter of preposition. So Allah has impacted its, its force or its laws on maktab. So Allah is the one that gave maktab kesro. Initially, maktab is supposed to have dumma because it is mudof. And the law of mudof says that it is always in the nominative case. It always have dumma. But here, yeah, maktab is having kesro because of the Allah that came before it. That is why it has Kesro here. It changes from Duma to Kesro. And the modernist is always with his Kesro. So it has Alif and Lam here. So by saying Ala Maktabil Modernist, it means the teacher's desk, on the teacher's desk. An example here is also Kolamul Modernist, the teacher's pen. Hakibatul Modernist, the teacher's bag. So all these are the laws. Once these laws are there, then we have formed. A nice mobile from both really. So let's proceed with the tamarin. Our tamarin says one Ajib Anil Asilatal Atiya. You should answer the following questions. One Aina Kitabu Muhammadin. Where is Muhammad's book? So you should uh you should reply them according to the passage. So you can say Kitabu Muhammad. Where is the answer? Kitabu Muhammad Alal Maktabi Hunak. Where is the answer? So two, they say, Aina kitab Ammar, where is Ammar's book? So you can reply it. Three, Aina hakibatul mudarris, where is the teacher's bag? So you can give the correct answer to all this. Two, they say, Adifil kalima, Adifil kalimatal ula ila thaniya. 
you should join the first word to the second word to form mudor for mudor of relic. All these examples here are examples on mudor for mudor of relic. If you are still having a difficulty in understanding this, just try and get uh, the first one we discussed earlier, Tada and Khabar. Once that one is set in your memory, then you'll be able to get this also. Because uh, these two are somehow confusing. So once you've gotten Mudaf uh, and Khabar, then you'll be able to get this also, inshallah. May Allah make it easy for us all. So Kitabu Muhammad. This is Kitab book Muhammad. So in joining them together, we have Kitabu Muhammadin, Muhammad's book. So the mudaf relay is with Kesra, as we can see. Why the mudaf is with Dhumma? Here is Maktabu and Al Mudaris. So in forming mudaf and mudaf relay, it will look like this Maktabul Mudaris, the teacher's desk. So Maktabu, the mudaf, always with Dhumma, and the Mudaris is with Kesra. And not Kesratain because it has Alif and Lam. Unlike Muhammad, yeah, Muhammad has Kesratain because it, it, it uh, did not have uh, Alif and Lam. But Mudaris has Kesra because it has Alif and Lam. So you can form the rest as Mudaf from Abu Afili. Qalam and Hamid. So we want to form Hamid's pain. So it will be Qalamu Hamidin. Miftahu and Al Bayt. So we want to form the house key or the key of the house. So it will be. Miftahul Bayti Miftahul Bayti and the rest. So you can also form sentences with this uh mubaf or mubaf with all these words inshallah. So the new words yeah, I don't think there are new new words in this place. All these are words that we are familiar with, alhamdulillah. Bint Bint means daughter or girl. So the whole new words has been written in this place, so we can check them. As we can see, bint al bint, daughter or girl. So here it says bint to a tabib, daughter then doctor. So informing Allah from Allah today to be bint to tabibi, the doctor's girl or the doctor's daughter. Bint to tabibi. The likes. Three says, Iqra waktub ma'a dabti awakhir al kalmat. You should read and write and then you should realize all this. All these also are mudaw from Bafili. So you will know the one that will have Dhumma and the one that will be with Kesra or Kesratain. Four is Iqra, you should read. One says, Aina Baytul Mudarisi. Mudaw from Bafili. Where is the teacher's house? Huwa ba'id, it is far. Al Quranu Kitabullahi. Kitabullahi. Mudaw from Bafili. Allah's book. Al Kaabatu Baytullahi. Kaaba is the house of Allah. Muhammadun sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Rasulullahi Rasulullahi Allah's messenger Rasulullahi Allah's messenger Kharaja al-mudarrisu min gufati al-mudiri Yais mudafa mudafa ilayhi gufati al-mudiri The principal's house But the gufa here will no longer have dhumma because the mean has changed it to kesra So it's now min gufati al-mudiri Please take note هذا بيت حامد وذلك بيت خالد ابن عمار طالب عمار son is a student وابن ياسر تاجر وابن ياسر تاجر and ياسر son is a trader بيت المدرس بعيد بيت المدرس بعيد the teacher's house is far وَبَيْتُ تَاجِرِ قَرِيبٌ And the trader's house is near. مضافة مضافة إليه. Also here, مضافة مضافة إليه. هذا مفتاح السيارة. مضافة مضافة إليه. This is the car key. أين مفتاح البيت? Where is the house key? So all this are مضافة مضافة إليه. من أنت يا ولد? Who are you, oh boy? أنا ابن عباس. I am the son of Abbas. Or I am Abbas' son. مضاف أو مضاف إلي. وابن من هو؟ And whose son is he? And whose son is he? هو ابن خالد. He is Khalid's son. أين مسجد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم? Where is the messenger of Allah's mosque? Peace be upon him. 
هو في المدينة المنورة It is in the city of light مدينة بنت حامد في المدرسة حامد دوتا is in the school وبنت محمد في الجامعة محمد دوتا is in the university اسم المدرس سعيد اسمه means name so you can see اسمه name اسم المدرس سعيد the teacher's name is سعيد واسم المهندس go from both relay واسم المهندس خالد and the engineer's name is خالد عم الطالب غني عم means paternal uncle so you can see عم paternal uncle so عم الطالب غني the student's paternal uncle is rich مضافة مضافة ليه باب المسجد مفتوح the mosque door is open وباب المدرسة مغلق and the school door is مغلق means closed or shut and the school uh, school door is closed خالد uh, sorry خال حامد فقير خال means maternal uncle as you can see خال حامد فقير حامد maternal uncle is poor سيارة عباس في الشارع عباس كا is in the street so all this are مضاف مضاف إلي that's it's easy for us to get them now ابن من أنت أو son are you أنا ابن المدرس I am the teacher's son أين الكلب where is the dog هو تحت السيارة it is under the car تحت means under تحت يا بيتي نعم under so here they say كون جملا مفيدة بملء الفراغ فيما يلي you should fill in the you should complete the sentence with an appropriate uh Wait. So yeah, they have some dash. Dash al bait muglak. So you have to fill it with appropriate mudof. Mm? You should provide the appropriate mudof here. Yeah. So you have dash al bait muglak. So you can provide the appropriate mudof. Six. Sahih talkibat italia. You should compose the following composition. Compose the following composition. Al qalamu talibi dash. Al qalamu talibi dash. The pen. Okay, they said that you should you should correct it. All the sentences here are wrong, so you should correct them. You should form the right mudaw from mudaw really. The one that you have to remove, you remove them, and the one that you change, you change them. So you have to rectify and correct all these words. Al qalam mutalib and and the likes. Seven. They said Muhammadun ya Muhammad. Yeah, this seven. I written it out here. It is some laws here. When I said, take note of the following. Kitabu man, you all know man to means who. So in English meaning, it means whose book. Man is not in the genitive case because it is indeclinable. That is, it does not change to indicate its function. So in this case, man is supposed to be the, uh, the mobile really. Kitabu man, whose book. But the man does not have kesro because it does not change. So we don't have anything like money in Arabic. Money, no. The man is man. It does not change. That's why the man does not have kesra in this place because it is indeclinable. Mm -hmm. Two, ala maktabil mudarisi, on the teacher's desk. I said note that uh, it is in the genitive case. That is the maktab. Maktab is in genitive case. Why? Because of the preposition ala. So initially, the maktab supposed to be with Dhamma because it is mudaf. It's supposed to be maktabul mudarisi, maktabul mudarisi. But it is with kesra. Why? Because the ala that comes before it has changed it to kesra. That's why it is ala maktabi, as we've explained earlier. And also, and al mudaris is in genitive case because it is mudaf really. That is the sign of mudaf really. Always with kesra. Three, I say there that Ya is a vocative particle. Ya that we can see in this seven. Ya Muhammad. A noun following Ya has only one dhumma. So Muhammad Ya is with two dhumma. But once Ya came before it, it changes to one dhumma. Ya Muhammadu. And not Ya Muhammadun. Ustadun changes to Ya Ustadu with one dhumma and the likes. Four, the words Ismu and Ibnu 
commence with Hamza to the Wasl. This Hamza, we have Hamza to the Wasl. Hamza to the Wasl are Hamza that do not have the Hamza on top of the Alif. So ordinary Alif here is called Hamza to the Wasl. So this type of Hamza, when it is preceded by word, the initial Alif, this Alif there, is dropped in pronunciation. So in this case, there is how we recited this. Let's look for an example here. Look at this. This is the Hamza to the Wasl here we are talking about. It does not have the Hamza on it. So it is Ibn Ammarin Talib. But once it is preceded by something, by a letter, we have to omit this Alif in pronunciation. So it will now be Wabnu and not Wa Ibnu. We will remove the, we will remove the Alif because it is Hamza to the Wasl. So these are what we have for you today. Ya Ali you and not Ya Ali Yun. So they want you in this place to read and write and you should put the haraka on it. Yeah, it says that the coil missile ati thum makawin as ilatan mitla mushiran ila sunwati talia. It says that you should read this example and you should form a sentence the like of it. It said Kitabu Manhada. We have Kitab here. So you have to add only Manhada in the rest. So whose book is this? So here you have column, so you have to add column by saying column manhada and the likes. Commis manhada and house and also at the bed. And the last one here says that ismun. This one here is what we explain in this place. So here will be ismul walad Muhammad. Wasmu and not wa ismu. So ismul mudarisi hamidun. Masmu. Masmul mudir. So some of you that is speaking that uh, ma ismuka, it is wrong. In the Arabic pronunciation, it's supposed to be masmuka, masmuka, and not ma ismuka. So the alif there will be removed because a letter has preceded it. Here also is the same thing, ibnu khalidin, and here will be wabnu, wabnu. Yeah, it said that you should read uh, the following sentence by pronouncing the hamza to the in it appropriately. So let's say the first one is Ibn Muhammadin fil Iraqi Wabnu. So it will not be Wa Ibn Wabnu Hamidin fil Hind. Muhammad's son is in Iraq. Wabnu Hamidin fil Hind. And Hamid's son is in India. Khawajabnu. Do you see it? Khawajabnu. Khawajabnu Tabibi min al Bayt. The doctor's son went out from the house. Zahababnu, not Zahaba ibn. Zahababnu tajiri ila suq. The trader's son went to the market. Ismul muhandisi Faisalun. The engineer's son, the engineer's name is Faisal. Wasmu tabibi mas'ud. And the doctor's name is mas'ud. Masmu rajuli. What is the man's name? Ibnu man anta. Whose son are you? Anabnu al-waziri. I am the minister's son. So by this, this uh, uh, lesson on Mudaf and Mudafili, and these are the new words that we have here, in which they've been written in this, in the first part of the, of the handout, as you can see. So here is the Mudaf and Mudafili we are talking about. Sayyaratul Mudarrisi. So Sayyaratu is the Mudaf. It has Dumma always. That is the sign. And it is without Alif and Lam, Neda, Tenwin. Al Mudarrisi. That is the Mudafili. It signs is always with Kesro, always with Kesro. And it will either have uh, Alif and Lam or Tenwin. If it has Alif and Lam, it will not have Tenwin. And if it has Tenwin, it will not have Alif and Lam. So, inshallah, that, that is the end of the class. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, make it easy for us. If there's any, uh, any difficulty that you might have in this class today, you can chat me up, inshallah, and we'll try and solve it by the grace of Allah. هذا صلى الله وسلم سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته